Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1950 10 Pfennig from Germany, and there's a lot to learn about it, whether it's the value, the history, the mintage, the design, or any of the specifics. I'm excited to tell you about it, but I also want to say thank you to our sponsor, MA Shops. MAShops.com is a trusted online marketplace with ancient U.S. and world coins, paper money, and stamps. And again, MA-Shops.com is the location, so go over there, see if there's something good for you to add to your collection. But in terms of this coin, we'll start with the design. It switches over um, from 1949. It was a very similar one, but instead it had Bank Deutsche Lande instead of Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Um, this was post-World War II Germany, so 1949 was the Federal Republic formation, or West Germany, basically, um, and this is one of their first currencies that they issued. The Deutsche Mark, this specific one, would go from 1950 to 2001, this design, before the mark was uh, moved into the euro at a rate of 1 euro equals 1.95 marks, so this would basically be like a 5 euro cent coin. But the composition, it's brass clad steel, 4 grams of it. It's a little bit smaller than a U.S. quarter, as you can see, um, and uh, often on the side when these wear down, you can see sort of a... Um, you know, like a gray steel color in the side, but the demonetization and transition over to Euro occurs at the end of 2001. Um, the design-wise, it was engraved by Adolf Jaeger on both sides. This says Federal Republic of Germany. The oak leaf is going to sort of symbolize the rebirth um, of Germany as, as it grows into what it is today, sort of casting off the um, Third Reich era. And then on the back, it's just uh, two right ears, very basic design. Um, and again, has that steel core. Now, in terms of the mint marks, the J mint mark is going to be Hamburg. That's one of the more common ones. About 402 million were minted then. Uh, there's also the Karlsruhe, uh, the G, which is a little less uh, minted, 309 million, but none of these are rare. F is going to be Stuttgart for 584 million, and then D is going to be Munich for 393 million minted um, in an uncirculated condition like this one is it's probably like a dollar fifty coin because um, there is a little bit of nice preservation and people pay up for that but oftentimes um, if you've got a really worn one it's just going to be worth five to ten cents there is sort of that conversion at about six cents in terms of if you brought a ton of these to a bank per coin um, just because of the and i'm talking in u.s values uh, just because of the exchange rate the german Mark still honors its currency promise, where a lot of the currencies do not. So that's just a sort of a bonus for the European stuff, uh, for the German stuff that is very th I'm thankful for because I have a lot of marks that I need to go return. But um, this coin, a really common one with over a billion across the different mint marks, ends its way in a lot of different collections. And hope that this can clear up any questions you might have had on it. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary and I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources such as my other YouTube channel Treasure Town which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own. CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests. As well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.